Hello YouTube, my name's Jax and welcome to the channel. So in today's video, it's not really a, a, a devlog. I suppose I'm going to label it as a devlog, but it's more like a little fix I've found for something. And I don't really know how to categorize the fix. Let me just adjust this mic. Uh, I don't know how to categorize what fix it actually is, but I'll show you what I want it to do because I've got it working now. So I've got this actor here, which is like a TARDIS looking thing. And then this door's going to open up. The droid's going to come out and he's going to drop the, he's going to drop the loot. You'll see, watch. Then he goes back in. Collect the loot. And that repeats over a process of like 20 seconds. I'll show you as it does it again. So it's all in time. It's all in sync for that to keep repeating. And I can adjust how many, how long. I am thinking it's going to be more like every 40 seconds or every like minute or so. But, so that's working. What wasn't working, right? So I'm using timelines to to um do it right so let me just so yes yeah, so i'm using timelines to do the animations and stuff right so watch works the first time light out door down out comes the spaceship drops the loot so you are gonna have to sit with me for 20 seconds to see that it doesn't work <laughs> but uh yeah i just want to show you right so now the process is repeating it's just a, a loop, like a delay and then loop back. Now the door doesn't animate, the thing doesn't fly out, but the door animates back up. So the door animating in reverse is working, but the droid flying out and the door coming down is not working, right? So when you look, at the door going back up in in the its event it's telling the timeline to reverse from end so it's got quite a clear it knows exactly what to do when the door goes back up get the animation and reverse it from end right but in this one when the door comes down it's just saying play play that so it goes down right so once that animation has been done it's played the animation down when you ask it to do it again it doesn't really know where it is it doesn't know where that animation is it's just playing it from the start so it's not doing anything so what you need to do in this situation if you want to loop an animation over and over i mean this i mean my my code is not brilliant right but so say you want to loop a timeline over and over because I'm telling it to just keep doing that and the event begin play it's a delay then the custom event with the animation delay for 18 seconds then loops back around to start again but it won't play it constantly unless you tell it to play from start so it can play from the start on the first instance because it's the start but when it comes to the second instance I mean it can play from the start from just play on the first instance because it's just the start but on the second instance it doesn't know where the start is this is what i'm thinking so what you need to do is you need to put it to play from start because it will play from start in the first instance anyway so you press play from start and then on the droid i've got the same problem look it's just play but i need to play from start and now look when um I do apologize, you are gonna to have to sit with me for 20 seconds. I could change it, but um no, you'll just have to sit with me for 20 seconds. But now look, light goes off, door comes down, droid flies out, drops a crate, door goes back up. I have got a um Door goes down, Joy comes out, spawns crate, door goes back up, 
I've got to add sound effects to all that and like and ooh and I'm gonna make like some kind of alarm as well that goes off. Do wow. So it, it's all just working. I mean, I am using a lot of delays and a lot of change materials and a lot of stuff in that code, but I will neaten it all up. I just need to see it working and then I can then I can cut it all down and but I'm not using any event ticks on that. It's just on an event begin play and timelines so that's good the timelines are on a tick though they are on some kind of tick pre-physics so i'm not really sure what that is i did look at it earlier so i might look into that to see what the tick group is because because this is going to be a multiplayer game uh first person shooter i need it to be I need it to be very responsive to stuff. See, so like the what will happen is them sort of tidiest looking things will be in the map and they'll be every time the alarm goes off, they drop out a thing. And you can get ammo, you can get health, but you get your main ammo and your main health. I'm down at the regen station. You can even hip fire up. I need to sort the um I need to sort the um crosshair out for the hip fire sorry I, yeah i just kind of just wanted to show you that that thing so look what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make these loot boxes they're just gonna if you don't pick them up between a certain time they're just gonna be destroyed so yeah but that that's all working fine i just wanted to show you that little little fix if you wanted to repeat uh if you wanted to repeat uh animation timelines I mean, some people that are doing animation timelines and, and stuff like that, they might know that that already. But yeah, I've got to neaten up my code and stuff. But like I say, I just needed for it to work. I just needed to see it working because once I see it working and I've make a few fixes, um, it's it's all good. So see, so the loot, I'll just put, I'll put just a delay on that. And then like say 18 seconds and then destroy actor. And then that means that they, they won't ever, they won't ever, uh, loot. They won't ever collide because it will be destroyed. Watch. So if someone doesn't get that in 18 seconds, it will be destroyed. Oh, no. Yeah, there you go. So you see, and now it drops another one. And, and I'm going to add some effects, some sound effects, some steam effects, like, and have, like, the, um like niagara effects come as that door opens as that door opens doom all the steam comes out as that drops some kind of like expansion uh glow and and that's about it but i'm getting there um <laughs> yeah i'm getting there somewhat but f thanks for watching guys and uh i hope that helped somebody uh thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one goodbye